Hey y'all, so if y'all are new here, my name is Pretty Tay. I'm the owner of Pretty Girl Bangles and Accessories LLC. But chances are you clicked on this video because of the title and thumbnail. So this is very different content for me y'all. So usually I am just in content, making content pertaining to just like 100% business, bangles, bracelets, stuff like that. So if you're interested in starting a business, go ahead and hit me. Give me a subscribe because you will not want to miss out. I have over 200 videos already on my channel that will help you in your business journey. But today, I was just like, let's do something different. So, usually I don't come on here looking like this at all. But I want to come on here and just give a 2022 reflection, a business reflection, uh, what I feel like went right, what I feel like went wrong last year in terms of business. And I want to kind of get my content and switch my content up for 2023 because YouTube will be my main source of income one day. YouTube will be paying my mortgage. YouTube will be paying my car note. YouTube will be paying everything, okay? So, I want to just start getting some new content so I can get some fresh girlies over here that want, like, more lifestyle. A lot of people are always asking me, like, Tay, can you start doing more lifestyle videos and, and stuff like that? And I just was in my head, like... I don't want to put both of my channel, but I preach to y'all all the time. Post what you want to post. Post your content. So that's what we're going to do. I am practicing what I'm preaching today. And hopefully I actually upload the video because sometimes I get nervous when I'm uploading stuff that don't have nothing to do with bangles. But I'm going to upload this video, okay? I don't know why I'm nervous. But um, if you are new to my channel, like I said, my name is Pretty Tay. I'm the owner of Pretty Girl Bangles. Um, I've been in business for three years, so this is my fourth year in business. Um, I gotta take this off, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. I was trying to be cute and aesthetic because it's still like winter time, New Year's, Christmas, but it's hot, baby. So what I'm gonna do is just do a chit chat while I kind of style my hair. I want to give it like I want to put it in like a half up, half down, but with two ponytails. So like two of the ponytails and then the hair in the back. And this is a versatile quick weave. So the front part of my hair is out and then the back is like the quick weave. So yeah. Um, so 2022 was a good year for me overall. If y'all um, have been following my journey, then y'all know I moved to Atlanta from Chicago and I moved from Atlanta back to Chicago. I will literally one day get on here and um, do a full video maybe one day about why and how I was moved back to Chicago but let's just say never make decisions for guys that you're not married to okay um I feel like that was my biggest lesson of 2022 um again I'm 20 at the time I was 25 I, I'm 26 now and basically long story short um I end up meet not meeting this person but like I've been knowing him by way of like Greek life, but um, he was in Chicago. He just basically, you know, convinced me to move back to Chicago to start a life. Don't get me wrong. I love that Atlanta and stuff like that. But I was like, you know what? Maybe this is God telling me to come back to Chicago so I could be with my family anyway. Yada, yada, yada. Long story short, y'all, that's not the person I'm with. But I also feel like God has a way of putting people in your life to make you do things that you normally wouldn't do to get results that you normally wouldn't get. So I'm currently in a relationship now. I don't know how I started off in my personal life, but hey, we're here. So I'm currently in a relationship now with somebody. And when I tell y'all, this is this is the person, okay? Like, this is the person. Like, a million percent. But I feel like I would have never ran into the person had I still been in Atlanta. So I feel like God put that other person in my life, bring back Chicago to bring me to my man. Because as y'all can see, baby, he already done put a ring on it, okay? He already done put a ring on it. This is a promise ring, not an engagement ring, but engagement is coming soon. Um, He texts me right now. That is a little bit of my personal life. Um, what I say is a regret. Um, I wouldn't call it a regret at all. I'm definitely happy that I moved back to Chicago. Well, now I'm happy. I'm not gonna lie. At first, I was like, I don't want to be here. I was crying and stuff to my mama. She was just like, I don't know what to do. Like, I, you know, you made the choice, or whatever. And it is suck. It does definitely sucks that, you know, that person kind of, you know, sent you off. But at the same time, I met my man. 
we go get married we having kids so i just feel like things work out the way they're supposed to work out but going into business 2022 has been like 2022 was the second best year financially for my business so y'all gotta like put the like the it's like a little track right here so i gotta like put it down a little bit because i want to show hopefully that one looks too bad i mean i gotta do this again so yeah financially 2022 was like the best year ever or the second best my financially the best year i've had today was 2020 y'all know in 2020 the c word was out and people were spending their money honey okay but 2022 was my second best and then 2020 2021 was the lowest so it goes 2020 2022 then 2021 um but yeah, financially 2022 was good. I met um I would say I met a lot of people. I think I feel like my my relationship with I Tasty got stronger. I think I met her. My she's my one of my only business friends between I Tasty and um Lola and Co. Those are my two main and only business friends I have in this business. Um to be honest. And yeah, I'm trying to like twist it. How can I make it? Let me see. So, um, I met both of them. Technically speaking, I still have not met Lowell and Co. yet. Um, but we just talk on the phone. I FaceTime her. She FaceTime me. I talk to her kids on the phone and stuff like that. So, let me just try to style it last. Hopefully, this doesn't distract y'all. Um, Lola and Co., me and her are super good friends. Me and I Tasty are good friends as well. Y'all know me and I Tasty. We went on about two trips together. So, as far as, like, my business relationships, like, with friends, um, it was pretty good. I'm not really into having a lot of, like, social media business friends. I'm not gonna lie to you. I definitely wanted to find, like, a little alliance with some girls in Chicago, though. Like, I'm looking for, like, Chicago girls who are, like, business girls, content girlies. Like, I want to, like, you know, start having, like, content days with friends and stuff like that. Like, my friends, I do have. None of them are into content. Like, none of them are, like, content girls. So, it's like, I'll be wanting to take pictures and stuff like that. But you know how, I like, sometimes when you go out people and they make you, make you feel like, you know, you asking for pictures is just, like, doing too much. And so, that's kind of how it is with, like, my current friend group. So, it's like, I want to get some content girls and find some content girls that's, like, we all on the same page. So, we all know we got to get a whole bunch of pictures to, you know, to get the shot and stuff. And then, like, my boyfriend, y'all, he can't take my pictures, okay? Like, he is not allowed to take my pictures because, um, at this point, this video is like a, ch a random chit-chat, I guess. Um, he not allowed to take my pictures because, y'all, we went to the Bulls game. And let me tell y'all, that man could not he did not get not one good picture for me um not one good picture so i want to find some like content girls that's in chicago um some business girls some business bosses stuff like that um in terms of like black friday black friday definitely was a hit it definitely was a success i'm not gonna lie to y'all though i feel like i didn't do I didn't reach my Black Friday goal. I don't know. Y'all think I put it, put it in the video, of course, like the little vlog, the Black Friday recap video. But um, I did not reach my goal of 1,000 orders. And I personally feel like I probably shouldn't have announced, like, well, I probably shouldn't have publicly manifested my goal, if that makes sense. Because I feel like some people wasn't shopping simply because... Y'all, I'm really struggling with, like, trying to get these two little things. Like, y'all know what I'm trying to do? I'm trying to get them to, like, be, like, two little knots. But, to be honest, they're not knotting up. So, I got to figure out what I want to do. So, um, I probably shouldn't have publicly manifested my goal. But, then at the same time, y'all know me. I always feel like what's for me is going to be for me. So, yeah. But, I definitely feel like... I had, so this year was the least amount of, like, personal people I knew shopped. Like, nobody from, like, my sorority or my chapter shopped this year. Um, I did have about two or three cousins shop. And then everybody else was literally just, like, um, strangers. 
but I definitely was thinking that I was going to hit my goal, y'all. Like, I definitely am appreciative of the 420 orders, but I was just like, I knew for a fact I was going to at least get like five, 600 orders. But what I feel like for me, what kind of really, like, slowed me down. So, like, the first day was good. The first day I had met the goal, I ended, I ended that first day, which was Black Friday day, with 251 orders. So, in order for me to hit the goal, I had to get 250 orders a day. So, I hit the goal the first day, and I hit the goal the third day, which was um, Sunday, like the Sunday. But for some reason, Small Business Saturday wasn't a hit like that. Like, Small Business Saturday definitely wasn't, like, booming. Like, I thought it was going to be booming, you know? Um, And then Monday, the Monday, that's when I did the 60% off. That was definitely a hit. So, maybe I hit the goal Friday and Monday. But, yeah, long story short, I didn't hit the goal or whatever. So, I know for this year, I already got my goal in mind, and I'm not going to publicly manifest that. Other than that, y'all, this year was pretty good. Like, I didn't close my business not one day. I stayed open every day, even during moving from Chicago, moving from Atlanta back to Chicago and stuff, I was open. Um, I shipped out a lot of orders. I think we hit about 4,000 4, orders. 4,000, like 4,500 orders, I think, for the year of 2022, which is good. Um, so yeah, this year I'm just on like, I, I, yeah, I just want to like, I feel like I'd be in my head, like, I'd be telling y'all to like post your content and stuff like that and post what you want to post. So I feel like I got to start doing that too. Because, like, this video, I'm going to post it. I'm going to post it. Because y'all you, you just never know. Like, this could be the video that, that, that you know, that blows up and goes viral. Oh, y'all had a viral video um on, what, Tuesday? Y'all had a viral video on Tuesday. This this video, my one of the videos on my TikTok hit 700. Let me see. Um, It's at 700 and 730,000 views. Almost 1 million views, y'all. 730,000. I'm not gonna lie, though. It ain't bringing no many orders, though, yesterday. Ooh, my head a little, a little nappy. I think I'm gonna just leave it like this. I'm just gonna leave it like this, y'all. Y'all think I just should leave it like this instead of making it into the knots anyway? I feel like the knots will make it look. I'm just gonna leave it like this. Um, But, yeah, I got 730,000 views on a video that took less than a second Less than five seconds. That video was like three seconds long. And it was just me. I might put on. I might put on the screen for y'all. But it was just me literally pushing the bead over the knot and telling people to make sure you had your knots when making bracelets. Like it'd be the most random stuff that goes viral. But luckily, my website is in stock. But I'm not gonna lie to y'all and act like I got a thousand orders because I didn't. Um, I only got five orders. Actually, no, I think I got seven orders the first day and went viral. And then yesterday, which is the fourth, because it went viral on the third. Today is the fifth. So it went viral on the third. So on the actual third, I got about seven orders. And then on the fourth, which is yesterday, I got about five orders. So I'm not going to lie and be like, oh, that video changed my life. And I feel like it didn't change my life or it didn't like bring in a lot of orders because I wasn't even showing off. I mean, I was showing off a bracelet, but I was making a video to teach others, if that makes sense. Like it wasn't like me showing off my new arrival or something like that. It was me telling other business owners to make sure they are hiding their bracelets. Make make sure they are hiding their knots when they're... um making their bracelets so it really wasn't like a product video that went viral if that makes sense now if it was a product video that went viral like you know me showing off my basic bank or something like that i personally feel like i probably would have got way more orders because it was like a me showing off an actual product so when you go viral you gotta think of that too you gotta think about like what what is attracting this audience like because my videos and like i feel like my page is like 50 50 so y'all this little brush is so hard it's hurting my freaking edges 
So I feel like my um pages are 50-50. Even like my YouTube channel is like 50-50. When I say 50 50, I mean some of it. Most of my channel, like most of my YouTube is educational for other business owners, and then it's like entertainment for like my supporters. Like, so the entertainment videos would be like the vlogs or like the day of my life, and then the tutorials and teachings how to make sale videos is for like other business owners. That's how I feel like my um, TikTok is too. So, like the pack and orders videos, stuff like that is for like my customers, supporters, and then like the tutorials, how to make bangles, how to make bees is for other business owners. So, I feel like my page is like half and half. And so, so is my YouTube, not my YouTube, so is my um Instagram page. It's like 50 50 as well. So, you gotta think about that too. Like when you're like starting your business or you're in business, think about what kind of audience do you want to have of the business on, this, on your page or do you want to have like customers only? I feel like I have a good mix of business owners and customers because I do sell like ebooks, stuff like that. So I tell my wish that I would start a separate page, but at the same time, I just put everything on one page. Now, if my mentorship just like blows up or something um this year, of course, I'll make a whole new page and that just be for mentorship. But as of right now, I feel like I have like a healthy balance. I don't think my regular customers get turned off too much. And I don't think my business owners customers get turned off too much. Because I know if I was following the page, I would want them to be teaching all the time if I'm trying to buy some bracelets, you know. But I feel like I do a healthy balance that kind of keep everybody entertained. Y'all see Sass in the back? I'm messing up my video. Let me scoot over so y'all don't see her. If y'all drink no water, say drink some water. Yeah, I won't be editing this video too much. Cause I want just I want this video to be like a raw, like a raw, uncut video um, of me just chit chatting and talking. Other than that, um, I feel like too this year I've I'm, I'm not gonna say people's emotional baggage, but I feel like I've dealt with a lot of other people's emotional traumas. I didn't have an emotional year in terms of like losing a family member or losing a parent or losing a friend or you know being sick i mean did i have I, I had covid one time in 2022 um but other than that like i didn't really have a lot of like i'm gonna probably put like a little makeup on because my boyfriend supposed to come over later i think that work so you know i want to kind of look a little cute so i won't say that i had like a lot of personal issues on my own self hold on y'all so yeah, what I was saying was I don't I won't consider myself having like a lot of emotional emotional traumas this year. I'm thankful and grateful for that. But um But I dealt with like a lot of other people issues. And I wanna say issues negatively because that's what friends are for. That's what you know I'm here for. But like I dealt with like a lot of my friends situations, like my friends losing people and stuff like that. So that kind of like weighed on me too. And I was realizing that it was like really weighing on me. And I was just like, and I mean, of course, like I'm always gonna be there for my friends, especially like you know, my closest friends. Um I'ma always be there for them. But yeah, I realized that too, like a lot of my like sad saddest days or stuff like that or just not feeling the best days came from listening to other people's problems so i feel like in 2023 i'm not gonna say i'm not gonna be there as a friend oh i'm just using a regular cotton pad and just some um, witch hazel just to kind of prep my face um i'm not gonna do too 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 much because literally i'm just doing this for this video but i'm gonna put some primer on just to kind of actually want to put on the elf primer just to kind of you know protect my face because i do be having like little breakouts and stuff so i'm not saying that oh i'm not gonna be there for like my friends this year but i'm gonna probably i feel like limit like limit the amount of trauma i intake per day per week per month if that makes sense like yeah um I don't know how to explain it, but I hope y'all understand what I'm saying. Let me get some more thumbnails because I don't have no thumbnails. And then I'm going to get a thumbnail with
so yeah um I hope I hope I hope I'm making sense but I'm gonna try to like limit the amount of issues I listen to per day okay so like I said I'm just doing a, like a little cute little something something because um I'm on video and we just should chatting it up and if y'all like this type of content I'm gonna make some more this is actually pretty fun this is actually pretty fun but I'm trying to think what else but yeah, other than that, to me, to me, I, I honestly, like, that's why I'm fishing for stuff to say because, honestly, I don't have nothing negative to say. Like, I just feel like when people be like, oh, like, F the year and stuff like that. Of course, now, if you have, like, a real bad situation happens to you, your mom passed away or something like that, then, of course, I kind of see how you just hate the year. But, like, I always look at it like, I don't want to say this was a terrible year, horrible year, because I feel like that's just like being unappreciative in God's eyes. And like, it's like God brought you from January 1st to December 31st and you saying F the year. Like, you know, you could have been one of the ones that didn't make it, you know? So just be appreciative if that makes sense. So I think that's kind of where, where I be at with it. Like where I be thinking like, let me not, let me not complain too much because... I did make it to you know to the end and some people we all know did it so that's kind of another reason why I probably feel like I don't be complaining about years too too much now again I probably am a little you know y'all can't talk and do makeup I am like a little you know different because I didn't have like my family did not have no one loss this year actually I'm telling the story so we did have a um and of course my camera cut off but what i was saying was i was saying that my family didn't really have a death this year and then I, I changed my mind i was like oh we actually did so we had a cousin like a distant cousin he passed away literally i think like december 23rd so like we basically went the entire year without having a you know death in our family stuff like that so i am grateful for that i know some families that experienced you know a lot of passing away and stuff like that so that's kind of why i am thankful and grateful for the year that i had in 2022 um business wise i feel like i'm definitely want to go back to like my 2020 ways in terms of working with influencers because y'all know i always tell y'all this literally influencers is how i got to where i am today like well they kind of like put me on the on the right path if that makes sense so the influencers i worked with like they put me on the right path they got me be, like between i think my three influencers that i worked with in 2020 um the first one was miss nyla nicole in february 2020 even before the c word before the c word and she got me about five thousand followers and then i work with princess tommy and pretty iceland between those three girls i got a good i had hit ten thousand followers um and I, I when i reached out to him i didn't have that many followers I think Nyla, because like I said, Nyla was the first girl. I don't even know how I found Nyla. I think I just found the picture of Nyla from like the Explore page. So I'm just doing like, like when I tell y'all this, this is just literally just me just not, you know, doing, not doing too, too much. Um, because I'm literally just about to take this off. But yeah, I think I found Nyla on the, on the Explore page and I just looked at her page. I was like, oh, she looked like the type of girl that... I want you know to buy from me and stuff and then that's how you find your influences you want you want to pick people who kind of look like the girl you want to shop or the guy you want to shop so it was no point of me reaching out to a basketball player to promote my bangles you know y'all get what I'm trying to say so it's like I'm gonna just use a dirty sponge because um or no because I've been a broke out I'm gonna just use a dry sponge. Like I said, I'm not going anywhere at all. But usually if I was like really trying to take my time and go somewhere, I would I always use like a little damp sponge. So I just did my eyebrows and then um yeah. So you wanna choose influencers that kind of looks like the person you want to shop with you. So I I seen Nyla, she was like a freshman in high school um she was like girly preppy pretty stuff like that she had she was already ran jury so i'm like okay good so she's already into jury and stuff so that's why i chose her 
You don't want to choose people that, like, like I was saying, it was no point of me reaching out to a basketball player to promote my bangles. Unless it was trying to, you know, show that my bangles are durable. Even basketball players can wear them and they won't break. Okay, cool. You want like a little marketing thing like that. But just day-to-day -day influencers, day-to-day, -day, you know, customers are, my customers are not basketball players. My customers are more so, more so probably going to be the cheerleaders or, you know, the preppy girls, stuff like that. So, so yeah. Now, I'm not saying basketball players can't shop with me, but that is just not my target um, for me personally. So, if you are a person who makes t-shirts, probably basketball players might be up your alley because most basketball players wear t-shirts day to day. So, that might actually work out for you. Or, if you are a person who's selling purses, you are not most likely going to be having a wrestler you know advertise for you because yeah y'all get what i'm trying to say so just make sure okay y'all when i do like my concealer and stuff like that y'all as y'all can see i put on like three different concealers i put on um elf and i put on la pro but i just put like different shades because i feel like my skin color is like I don't think I have an exact skin color, if that makes sense. Like, I don't know how to exp I, I want to say that I'm dark, dark, but then I want to say that I'm light or either. Or I want to be like, I'm brown skin. So, I'm always having a hard time trying to find a perfect shade. So, what works for me is mixing a lot of shades together. And also, another thing that I do is I'm one of those girls who put on all their makeup first and then blend out second. So, I got my concealer. And y'all probably can't even tell that I got anything on. So I have my concealer on uh, first, and then I want to put my contour on. Let me get y'all back in a good position. Contour on. Like I said, I'm not doing too, too much because I'm literally just sitting here chit-chatting it up with y'all. Contour on. So now y'all kind of see that. And then I'm going to go ahead with this. Um, this is called Elf Halo Glow Liquid Filter Thumbnail. Um, this is super good. So it's like it says, okay, I'm gonna read the back of it. It says infused with yada yada yada. You can wear it alone, you can wear it under makeup, or you can mix it with your foundation, or you can wear it as a highlighter. I want to just wear it alone. I want to just put it on the spots on my face that I didn't put any concealer or contour. So I'm gonna just put it right there, right there. Yeah, like I said, my face, now y'all see I have like three different things going on. I got that, I got that, and I have the highlight. And then, of course, I'm going to just sit here and just tap all that out into my skin and call it a day, okay? I'm going to just call it a day. Um, let me get some content for Instagram. Um, I right back, y'all. Okay, so, I am back. I just let it dry down for a couple minutes. And also, to let me know in the comments down below if y'all want me to do more of like these little chit chat girly sessions but the only thing is i have to think about stuff to talk about again like i said this my page because my page is still under a business page i don't want it to be too personal in terms of like my topics i don't want to talk about too much inappropriate stuff because i do not inappropriate but just off niche stuff because i do have people most of my customers i mean not customers most of my followers and subscribers are literally here for bracelet information of course as i start doing it more i might you know get a whole new audience so i might have two different audiences but you know i don't want to be talking about like you know inappropriate things so if y'all do have any topics make sure that y'all leave topics that's not inappropriate I don't want to say the word because, again, I do have girls that are 13 watching me. But y'all know the word I'm trying to say. I don't want to talk about stuff like that. So, just if y'all do have any suggestions, leave them down below. If y'all have any questions or, like, any girl talk topics we can talk about or just any random topics at all, 
I did have this one topic I want to talk about. And maybe I'm just going to put it in this video and then see how y'all feel about it for next video. But let's just say you had a business friend. And no, this is not about me or any other two business friends <laughs> that I did mention in the video. But let's just say you had a business friend and... Or yeah, a business friend, a friend in general, however you want to say it. Let's just say you had a friend who was in business just like you. But y'all didn't sell the exact same things, but y'all sold similar things. And after I blend out the concealer and the uh, foundation, I go back and do the highlight last. So let's just say y'all sold similar things. Let's just say y'all was all in accessories. So you was in accessories and she was in accessories. And she came up with this idea first to start selling a certain thing. And you noticed that the thing that she came up with, you know, to sell, you felt like she wasn't selling it as good as she should have. Like, you just knew for a fact that you can sell it better. Now, are you wrong for starting to sell the same thing she sell? Or what? Oh, and let's just say... She is no longer in business. Well, no, no, no. She can be in business still. But are you wrong for selling the same item that you know your friend is selling? And let's just say she's not she's not struggling, but she is not doing the best that she can. Like, like you just know that you can like get this product on your page and you just know that you can sell this page or sell this product way better than her. What would you do? So I'm gonna leave y'all with that. What would you do? Would you not sell the product simply because that is your friend in the day or would you talk to her and y'all figure something out so comment that down below and that's what we're going to end today's video on i want to know what y'all would do so i thought i'd do all that if i do want to do like a little highlight like a little bright under eye i'll just go back again and just put some some more under there because I want it to be bright. I like the bright under eye look. And y'all really wish these little ponytails was thicker. I like the bright under eye look, me personally. And the lashes I have on are I tasty. And they are her H8s from iTasty. So after I blend all that out, like I said, this is not like a YouTube tutorial, a makeup tutorial, nothing like that. If y'all do, I don't think that I'm good enough for makeup to do tutorials, but hey, I don't be looking too, too crazy. I like the little subtle soft look. Like sometimes I be wanting to like the hard, like the real harsh makeup looks. But then other times, like like today, I feel like this looks real, real good in terms just like a little soft, little pretty, cute. Like you know I got on makeup, but it's not too too much. Um and then I just dab it with some powder. Um Like that. Sassy, what you doing? Come here, Sassy. Sassy. So I just dab it. And I just dab the powder in. Now... Some people do like put like two layers of powder. I do because I'm a very oily girl. But again, I won't do it just for this video. Because my skin probably like, girl, I thought you don't wear makeup throughout the week. Because I don't. So as y'all can see, I want to learn how to do, y'all, I want to get them bottom lashes. Like those bottom lashes to get into. Just put some mascara on. This mascara is eye tasty as well. And 
you know, you can't talk when you put on mascara. <laughs> you can't talk, boy. You got to be quiet. But I love the thick. Y'all see that? I love the thick bottom lash look. Love it, love it, love it. It just bring all things together. And so then, the last and final touch, y'all. Last final touch. One thing that I just did not learn, like, younger. As, well, I guess I probably didn't need to be wearing no makeup like that when I was younger anyway. But it's blush. You need, as especially a dark-skinned girl like me, melanated girls, y'all, we need a little bit of blush, okay? Like, when I say a little bit of blush, it's all you need. I just dap it a little bit. I just dap it a little bit. I just rub some of it off and just hit my face. Hit it. Mm, hit it. I'm just literally hitting my face. Not too, too much. Y'all see that difference. And then this 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 is what's gonna change the game. Put a little bit on your nose. Put a little bit on your nose. Just take the little residue from both sides. Um, I don't put nothing new. And just put some on your nose. Oh yeah, you in the game. And now all that it just bringing some color back to your face and boom. Do y'all see that? Do y'all see that? Do y'all see the look? And then, if I feel like I'm just like looking like looking too powdery, I just take like a big fluffy brush and just hit my face all over. But I love the look. Do y'all see like the blush, the nose? It's giving like the I'm chilly outside look. If y'all been watching that trend, if y'all been seeing that trend on um. TikTok and Instagram reels. And then that's that's really my look. That's really my little go-to look. Of course, I probably would have put more on if I was going somewhere. Then I just hit my face with some setting spray. Y'all, this is the Murphy. Um I'm basically out of it. I'm gonna buy some more. Another thing I did put on is this milk hydro grip primer. If you are an oily girl, and I say oily. I'm not saying like, oh, I just got like a little greasy. I'm saying like oily. Like you be oily, like you can rub the oil off like me. That I'm a I'ma link that product for sure. That milk, um, what's this called? Yes, the milk hydro grip primer, y'all. This is the mattifying primer. When you put this on, you ain't you ain't you ain't sweating. You're not sweating. And when you combine these two together. The both Milk Hydro Grip Primer and the Milk Hydro Grip Mattifying. You ain't gonna sweat, honey. You is not gonna sweat. You not gonna get no oil. I didn't put all that on because, like I said, I'm just around the house. If I want to just take it up a notch, I would go in with a lip liner. And line my lips. For some reason, the only lip liner color that comes up on my lip is purple um I feel like I'm too brown the brown lip liner is the same color as my skin the black just looks too like Halloween so purple is the only color that works for me so if you're kind of a girl that's kind of in my little shade range then yeah and yeah y'all I am complete uh, I feel bad because I did not do a 10k giveaway um, so I'm gonna just do I'm gonna just wait till we hit 15k and once we hit 15k I'm gonna do a giveaway here on YouTube. I've never did a YouTube giveaway so I have to figure that out but yeah I hope y'all enjoyed this quick little video just me kind of like random chit chats and stuff about 2022 y'all kind of got my little personal story um and stuff like that so if you like this video make sure you subscribe bye